uh, discussed about some perspective from the family point of view if you remember that we already have an idea that we discussed uh, functionalism in the consensus approach and two other approaches were in conflict approach which were uh, conf uh, feminism and the marxism functionalism uh, as uh, it is a part of the co consensus approach where we have to support the phenomena functionalism it's something that a uh, specific kind of an institution is uh, functionalized or the reason of uh, some kind of a functions or uh, operations of the society so we have one kind of a institution over there is known as family so we have to discuss the functionalist perspective on the family that what they discussed remember that they will support the structure of the family functionalism functionalists focus on the positive functions of the nuclear family such as secondary socialization and the st stabilization of the adult personality functionalists see the family as one of the essential building blocks for the stable societies they tend to see the nuclear family as the ideal family for industrial society and argue that it perform positive functions such as socialization or socializing children and providing emotional security for the parents there are uh, two main functionalist theorists of the family george peter baldock and tal and talcott person <coughs> so here we will discuss about the first uh, fun functionalist theorist uh, whose name is maldo uh, what this person has done uh, this person uh, basically give an initial idea and the initial definition that what is family uh, the number second is adult of both sexes living together the third ideology given by that person is having a socially approved sexual relationship and then having economic provisions and having kids on or adopted this ideology basically comes from uh, or you can say that he supports the nuclear family after the survey of 250 human societies the nuclear family is dominant family at that time and other family structures forms by such nuclear family structure so what was the uh, family uh, nuclear family structure wife husband and uh, their children in their first marriage they consider it as nuclear family so Murdoch argued that the nuclear family was a universal and that is performed four essential function the number one is sexual drive or the sexual control then we have a reproduction the third one is socialization and a socialization of the young and the economic production now Parson developed on the other hand uh, so functionalist view we were discussing functionalist view uh, of the society functionalists regard the society as a system made up of a different part which depends on each other different institution perform specific function within a society to keep society going in the same way as a different organs of a human body uh, perform different function in the order to maintain the whole function see the family as a particular important institution because it is a basic building block of the society which perform the crucial functions of the uh, socializing the young and meeting the emotional needs of its members stable families uh, underpin the social order and economic stability so uh, we are we are basically discussing about the model George Mordog was an American uh, who looked at 250 uh, or more than societies and argued that nuclear family was a universal feature of all human society in the other in other words nuclear family is uh, is in all societies so what he suggests he suggests basically four functions that we were discussing the number one is your sexual control or stable satisfaction of the sex drive within a uh, relationship which basically prevents sexual jealousy or you can say uh, the basic ideology is that that if there is there any couple there should be a relationship between them it could be wife and husband it could be boyfriend or the girlfriend and it could be any other case the next one is a uh, reproduction the biological reproduction of the next generation without which society cannot continue there should be a something that you can say uh, a reproduction ability that, that, that this is something controlled by the family controlled by that particular couple then you can say before uh, reproduction process or uh, without reproduction process is it not possible families to survive the third one is socialization uh, socialization of the young teaching and the basic norms of the, of the value 
and if you want to deliver and if you want to teach uh, norms and the values of the society what you have to do you have to interact with the society if you remember we discussed that there are different types of the institutions um, like a family uh, like your society like your uh, religion like your politics and your final institution where you are working right now or where you are studying right now so if you want to learn the norms and the values of the society what you have to do you have to interact so socialization is a is a basic and essential part of any kind of a family structure the last one which is uh, economic provision meeting its member economic needs producing food and the shelter for example and this is something uh, which is very much required for the family to provide such kind of a things to the uh, its family members uh, there are some criticism uh, which comes into the uh, heading of uh, criticism of the Maldives the first one is family sociologist argued that arguing that family is a basic and ideological because traditional family structure typically disadvantage of the woman or you can say this is non beneficial for the woman it is feasible that other institution could perform the functions as we discussed uh, in our uh, in, in that lectures another research has shown that this is the third point in the criticism on the Mardo that there are some culture which don't appear to have a families whatever we discussed right now uh, they don't exist in so many cultures so this is uh, you can say this concept vary from location to location you can't say that this is the basic structure that every uh, culture is performing on this planet so that was the murdo who were performing or who were saying all these stuffs then the third one